So, went hunting today with some friends. We did a little rabbit hunting. Uh, we killed nine or ten rabbits, but they weren't your average cottontail. I only brought home two swamp rabbits. A swamp rabbit is a little bit bigger than your average cottontail. And I don't have one here to show you the difference, but these are two decent sized swamp rabbits. They were kind of shot all to heck, but I'll show you how to clean one. They're basically the same as a cottontail, um, but there's one extra step to cleaning these uh, that you don't do with a cottontail. So I'm going to bring a camera in a little closer so you can get a good look at it. So there's different methods, I'm sure, folks cleaning uh, skinning a rabbit. Me personally, I like the method of just uh, cutting a circle and taking these pants and shirt off. I'll show you what I mean by that here in a minute. Find a hard spot there to cut into. They're also a little tougher than your regular rabbit. I've got a dull knife. Couldn't find my uh, razor knife today. Looked all day, looked all morning for it before we went hunting. Mm. Could not find it for the life of me. So, anyways, just got a little start there. And it'll tear. Still like you're doing a rabbit some. Or like you're doing a cottontail some, but they're not as soft. We can cut a circle. Let's see if it'll tear here. Uh, it's not going to tear perfect. Let me pull a little this way. Just get your fingers in there until you get a spot where you can pull it apart. And start with the back half. Now this, now this one's not too shot up in the legs. The other rabbit is shot all to pieces in the legs, which is not where you want to shoot a rabbit because that's where most of your good meat is. We, uh, let's see, we ran seven dogs today. Yeah, we ran seven dogs today. It was a good day. Last day of season. Anyway, so just get that pulled down to just below that joint is where I like to. I'm not going to worry about it too much. We're going to cut it right above it. I'm actually going to debone this meat uh, when I get a chance. I'm going to just snap that right off. Cut that tendon. Okay, I'm going to pull the other side. burn pile over here i'm just gonna chunk that hide onto some critter will find that tonight i'm sure be very happy now they'll probably be just disappointed there's not gonna be much to go with the hide because i'm keeping the meat all right i'm gonna cut that back tendon again so i can get that turned and just like that oh didn't work just like last time. Get those bones showers out of there. And I'm just gonna cut it like that. All right, now let's take his shirt off. Took his pants off nice and easy. And you will have to wash all this hair off of him. Uh, and there's, I'm sure there's a better, there may be a different way to do it without getting hair all over him, but this is just so quick and easy. Once we get it to his head, <clears throat> take your fingers, kind of go around his little arm there. It's like uh, taking a shirt off your kid, trying to just 
pull their arm out of that shirt. And there we go. I'm going to take the knife, cut. Oh, nope, we're not. It come on through. I was going to try to do that without coming on through, but oh, this front leg is broken or it was shot. I'm going to get all that extra fur in. off. All right. Flip them over to this other side and work on this shoulder here. Just like I did before. Get my fingers in there. Pull that one all the way through as well. Rabbit skin's super easy. Um, So they're not too bad. Like I said, the swamper is a little tougher than a cottontail, but a cottontail, man, they just, they, no problem getting them cleaned out. All right. Let's go down here and finish this off first. I did leave the tail, some of those entrails. Ah, that ripped off. I'm just going to pull it all up. Pull it all up like you can, like so. Take the knife, cut right at the base of that. You'll cut a little bone. It's not bad. All right, we're all clean down there. Like I said, there is plenty of hair to have to get off of this thing when you get to the sink, but not too bad. All right, nothing head up that we need. right through it and once you get so much cut tear it right off all right rabbits like deer and a lot of other animals don't have um, an attached shoulder I should know the correct term for that but offhand it evades me Anyways, the shoulders come off real easy. Just grab that blade, the shoulder blade, pull up a little, start to cut that area, and just follow it on down. There's a the shoulder blade. Let's get this other shoulder blade off. Pick that blade up right there, cut around it, and cut her down. Okay, hind quarters. Try to do this, see if I can do this in a gutless style. I don't know that I can. Because with the swamp rabbit, with this was a little, a regular rabbit, uh, you would want to gut him because you would cook the back whole. Swamp rabbits are special. You don't cook their whole back. They have enough meat on them to justify. There we go. I see that ball socket right there? That's the only thing holding this back leg on. You just cut around it right there. Wiggle your knife a little. Whole back leg come off. Try the other thing. Try it on this side. Oh, nope. Got to get on the sink. Follow that right down through there. Yeah, we're trying to avoid. There's a hip bone right there that you don't want to cut. You don't you want to leave out of it. Wiggle your knife just a little. Cuts real easy. Right here's another pelvic bone. 
we're gonna try to kind of get around that without a. Uh, I'm not sure you can see. Get around it. See how this one sticks out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right on the other side of it. Get my knife to without cutting my. Well, I'm usually not trying to show somebody. Else. There we go. We got her cut. We're trying to save all the meat we can. I mean, what's the point of hunting, right? It's the point of me spending my money and my time hunting anyways. I want something to eat. And I want something good to eat. Alright. Doesn't get any fresher or organic or whatever you want than that right there. Alright, I twist it a little. Just made a little snip. Got that back leg right off. All right. Now we got what's left of the carcass here. The main part of the body. Like I said, on a, on a cotton tail, you would gut this um, and you would just have this main back that you'd fry whole bone on. But with a swamp rabbit, you do them like a deer. You come right up against the backbone. Okay, right up against it, all the way down, that's what we want. get some of that extra skin off there extra connective tissue and you can almost see what we're looking for you see this right through here this muscle that's like a back strap on a deer the difference is this is on a nice swamper now that's quite a bit smaller about the size of a inside tenderloin on a good size doe Just running your knife. See, there's a the spine, the the trying to get back to the spine, but the ribs are here. And we're running right against the ribs, and then there's a bone right here above the stomach and stuff. Try to avoid cutting into that stomach. What I'm gonna do so that I don't have to smell it, because gutting a rabbit is one of the most awful smells of gutting any critter. I don't know why. Rabbit smells so bad. All he eats is grass. Clover. Anyways, got that done. I've got him cut right. You should just be able to connect the two cuts. There we go. I'm going to cut down so I can get plenty of that meat. There we go. Don't want to lose anything. These are so good, fried up, uh, not even but not even breaded, just fried and a little oil. Great little like breakfast meat. Oh, they are so good. All right, and that's the rabbit tenderloin, swamp rabbit tenderloin. Maybe I'll show you guys how uh, how I fix them sometime. Or maybe I'll add that to this video. Maybe we'll do a whole cooking and cleaning. And uh, I got a little bit of video from the hunt. We'll see how that turns out. Hopefully it turns out good and you guys can see the hunt. At least part of it. I need to get a better GoPro or a Tacticam or something. Uh, my I got an old original GoPro. Uh, and it... Just doesn't have the video quality that the others do. I had a cheap, I have a cheap, like Vivitar. Um, problem with it is, it lasts for maybe an hour of the hunt, and then it quit on me. 
which was no good. So I got to get on, I'm trying to get on the other side of the spine here so that I can get the cuts as close as I can. Uh, so I get all that meat, but those processes on that spine make it a little tough. This side's coming off a little easier. Get it cut right and it'll almost just fall out. There we go. That's just, then we're gonna cut against that pelvic bone again. Cut back into it. Gives me as much meat as I can get. And there it is. The other tenderloin. Now all this is for the coyotes. Uh, didn't have to smell the gutted rabbit. Didn't have to do any of that and all that nothing there I can really mess with to eat. So it's waste. There you go. Gutless rabbit.
That is two swamp rabbits butchered gutless. All right. Now, I gotta get inside and clean all this, but first, I'm at least gonna try to debone the uh, back legs because one, this, this particular back leg that we've got in hand is shot all to pieces. I'm just gonna cut down where the bone should be. And with this one, I'm gonna have chunks and shards that just have to come out. One, if my little boy chews on this, I do not want him getting a little piece of bone. I also don't want my wife getting it either, but I don't think she'll be eating any of the rabbit. She's not a big rabbit person. Actually, she is a big rabbit person. She <laughs> loves her some rabbits, and that's why she does not want to eat any rabbit. Anyways, I got most of the bone out to that point. Now that I can see a bone, I'm just going to come in here and follow right along beside it. Okay? I'm going to cut through some tendons connective tissue and come all the way down the best I can do the same thing here pull it over come up against that connective tissue trying to keep this meat as cohesive a piece as possible I don't believe we're going to keep all that I don't think it'll work right there's a one little piece of connective tissue. Give me some problems. Alright. Cut off the top. And this will go better, I'm sure, with the other three legs that aren't uh, quite as destroyed. Alright, so we're here in the kitchen. Uh, last video we cut up the rabbit into the quarters and we pulled the back straps out uh, I was gonna show you how to debone them uh, debone the rear legs but unfortunately I had a phone call in the middle of my video and uh, I didn't know but apparently that'll cut your video off so note to everybody who's using your iPhone uh, or your whatever phone to take a video uh, for YouTube or for whatever uh, if you get a phone call it uh, it'll cut it off all right, so like I said, I'm gonna use my food saver here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna show you two different methods on freezing the rabbit. So stick around, it'll be fun. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we get the food saver bags out here. I'm going to freeze each hind leg by itself. This is the deboned hind leg. All I'm gonna do is toss it in the vacuum sealer, spread it out a little bit. Looks like we got an all right seal. Good seal across the top. I'm just gonna put today's, uh, not today's date, date we killed it, was 2-29-20. This is a rabbit. Oh. Okay, and I'll know that's a deboned leg. Vacuum seal, like I said, with the deboned leg. Nice and easy. I'll set it over here and I'll get it in the freezer in a minute. Now, that's the leg deboned. I'm going to freeze two of the back straps together. Okay, because one is just not quite enough. Uh, like I said, these are great 
like cut up in real thin slices, fried up for breakfast. Um, hey, what I may uh may add that to the video here. May show you one making breakfast one morning with the good old rabbit back straps. That's it. Nice and easy. Food saver does all the work. Well, not all the work. It does help to press it a little uh, to get the, the extra air out. Sometimes air gets trapped if your meat will go all the way across. It'll create a seal there. You know, press on it and get it all good and sealed because air is the enemy of our freezing our food. Too clean. All right, I'll have to find something to write on those better with here in a little bit. Son? All right, the other method, what I'm gonna do with these front shoulders if you can see these, I'm gonna take these front shoulders. I put all four of them in here. There's not a lot of meat on them, um, but they'll make a decent meal together. Um, and I'm gonna freeze them underwater. The reason for freezing them underwater, um, one, they'll keep for a long time. And two, I don't have to worry about them punching holes in my back bag. Um, and that is a pain in the neck with bones and vacuum bags. Now what I did, what I do here, this is some extra wide medical tape. A little tape on the top. Two rabbit pair front legs. All right, and that'll go right in the freezer and that'll keep forever. Uh, that's how I'm gonna store my rabbit. Nice and easy, vac seal everything, uh, freeze the, the legs underwater. Um, and it's pretty simple. Well, there you have it. That's uh, two rabbits two swamp rabbits, uh, sealed up and ready to go in the freezer. I did want to add to the video, uh, I forgot to say this earlier, I let my rabbit sit in the fridge for two days uh, underwater uh, to kind of age it, soak it out. Um, definitely took my time cleaning it, uh, getting all the excess uh, hair and, and just whatever extra gross stuff happened to land on it. I did spend time getting that off. Make sure you do that. You don't want to. You don't want to be eating in it and uh, come up with some kind of junk. Uh, nobody wants to find a hair in their food, even if it's uh, better to be wild game hair than some somebody else's hair that you don't know. But you still don't want that. Um, yeah, I let it soak in the fridge in salt water, not just regular water. Uh, added salt to the water uh, helps it not get quite soak up quite as much of that water and get uh, and get gross. So. Anyways, just so you know, soaked in water for a couple days.